Hi, my name is Liz Stein. I'm a technical marketing engineer for the server access and virtualization business unit. And I'm going to take a few minutes today to show you the new GUI installer for the Nexus 1000V. Now this GUI installer became available as of the software release 4.04 SV12. Basically, the point of the demo is to show you just how easy it is this GUI makes installing the Nexus 1000V virtual supervisor module. So let's get started. As you can see here, I have my vCenter server. It's actually running inside of a VM at 172.25.182.101. Now, I have a very simple setup. I created a single data center, which I've called the Nexus 1000V demo. And I, within that data center, I added two physical hosts. Now, I want to split this demo up into two parts. The first part is going to go through what a server admin would do for the installation of the VSM, and the second part is going to pass it over to the network admin for his portion of the install of the Nexus VSM. So first we'll start off with um, installing the actual virtual machine. Now this would be the job of the server admin. In order to do this, we need to select the physical host that we want the virtual machine to run on. We're going to come up to File and Deploy OVF Template. Now, prior to uh, installing the Nexus 1000V VSM, we'll have to download the OVA file. I've downloaded it to my desktop, so I'm going to go scroll there and open it, and we'll click through this real quick. Now, this is just kind of the template details. It shows you the version that we're running. Again, um, the GUI installer is available as of 4.04 SV12. It also says the description, which is Cisco Nexus 1000V Virtual Supervisor Module. You can go ahead and click through this. You can accept the end user license agreement. And at this stage, we'll get to name the virtual machine, which will house our virtual supervisor module. I'm going to name mine 1000V VSM. Now you'll get to choose a location for this virtual machine. If you have multiple data centers configured in your vCenter server, those will all show up here under the inventory location. I just have the one, so I'll highlight it and go next. At this point, you can actually choose whether you want to use the GUI installer or to manually configure the Nexus 1000V. Since the whole point is to show you how easy the installer is, I'll leave it at that and go on. Now here we need to enter in a couple of credentials. So we have the Nexus 1000V admin user password. I'm going to use Cisco123. Also the management IP address. the subnet mask, and the IP, IP gateway. Once you have those entered in, you can go to the final step, which is just kind of a summary of everything that we entered in. Check over this real quick and go ahead and click Finish. Now you'll see down here at the bottom in the recent tasks um, all of the, of the installation of the virtual machine that will be going on. Depending on your network connection, this can take anywhere between a couple of seconds and a couple of minutes. Mm, that was quick. So once this completed sex successfully pops up, you can go ahead and close out of that. And now you've noticed that we have this new virtual machine under our server. Go ahead and power this on. Now once that's powered on, that pretty much completes the server admin's role in the creation of the Nexus 1000 VSM. The rest of the job is going to be up to the network admin. So now, as a network admin, I'm going to open up a browser and scroll to the management IP address that we set. For me, this was 102. And it should bring you to this page that has the Cisco Nexus 1000V. Now, the first option, as you can see, is the installer application. I'm going to go ahead and launch this. Now you'll need to have Java running on your computer in order to, and to run the GUI installer. So once this launches, here's what the GUI looks like. It's a simple five steps that will pre-configure your virtual supervisor module. So if we get started here, we need to enter in the vCenter IP address, as well as the user ID, and password. Now, the GUI is actually talking with vCenter right now to check these credentials. If anything's um, misentered, it will prompt you to re-enter it again. 
It'll also pull all the information from your vCenter. As you can see, I've got the Nexus 1000 v data center here and the two hosts which I had added. I need to select the physical host which my VSM virtual machine is running. Go ahead and click Next. Now you'll have an option of choosing which virtual machine is the virtual supervisor module. I only had the one virtual machine on the physical host, but if you have multiple, they will show up in this scroll down menu. So be sure to select the right one. And then you'll have two options. We can either do the default configuration option or the advanced. The advanced is going to give you a little more granularity when creating the control, management, and packet port groups. For this demo, I'm just going to go through the default. The default excuse me. You need to enter in the VLAN management ID. For my setup, it's VLAN 1. Click Next, and now we're going to set up um, all the VSM credentials. So the switch name, I'm going to use VSM1000V. The admin password, the management IP address, subnet mask, and IP gateway. Also, you're going to choose your domain ID, and then I'm going to choose to enable Telnet to set your discretion. You want to make sure that you've also selected the correct data center to install the VSM under. I only had the one, so that was easy. Now this will be the review of everything that we entered in. Again, you want to check over this, make sure that everything's correct, and go ahead and click Finish. This can take just a few minutes. So once that's completed, you should see this screen that says Initial VSM Installation Completed Successfully. Go ahead and click Close. And if you come over here and move to the Networking tab, you can see that within our Nexus 1000B demo data center, we have a new folder with a new virtual distributed switch, our VSM. See how easy that was? So that's pretty much all it takes to install the Nexus 1000B virtual supervisor module using the new GUI installer. If you need more information, you can go to www dot cisco dot com slash go slash nexus one thousand b. Thanks.